Look how long these drains have been plugged. It got all the way up to the liquid line solenoid valves and shorted out the output relay board fuse. And if that wasn't enough, the drain was broken downstream. Of all things, the thing I needed the most was broken. So of course, I have to fix that too. It's the seafood service case that's been ignored and abused until it just had enough. Today, the liquid line solenoid valves flooded and now we know for sure that they're not waterproof. So I have to remove all the water. I had to use this tiny little bucket and roll it out twice to dump it. It's almost 100 gallons of old, spoiling seafood waste. Had I blown the drain, I would have had a big, smelly mess. In the relay boards, I looked and I found a blown fuse. And so, from the main screen of the Danfoss, we're going to go to Configuration, Refrigeration, Rack E, which is this one. Then we'll go over to Boards and Points. And in Boards and Points, we're going to find the circuit we're working on, which in this case, it was 16 foot E4 2.6. And this one here, it's 2.6. This is what I'm going to be using to seal this up. Here's a better look at what I'm working with. So this whole piece slid out. I just now put it back in. So I'm going to attempt to get it back into place and held up there. Looks like it's held by just a couple of uh, screws. Now here's something cool. This has two different chemicals in it. And in here, this is a mixing nozzle. All these little square channels. It mixes all up by the time it gets to the end. Ain't that cool? So, it says, no surface preparation. Work, no system downtime. Works in standing water. Works on metal, on all this stuff. So I should be able to do this and it work. That's what it looks like. I got it in place. Holding in place with that. This was very hard to get on camera, but I did the best I could. I almost didn't post this video or post this part because uh, just because the camera work was no good. I'll tell you what, guys. Putting those screws in is not easy. It's not meant to be done like this. At the factory, they put these these things in first before they glue this tee on. So I gotta say, this stuff is a whole lot runnier than I was expecting. I was thinking it would be not so runny. I don't know how that's supposed to seal. I guess it needs to dry. It would be nice if the instructions said that it needed to dry. The instructions don't say that. Say it can be used underwater. I don't see how, but okay. I got a motor to put in over here. And I gotta put in my solenoid valve coils. Replace a fuse, and I think that's it. Take your fan motor, you put all the connections together. First, you gotta run the wire through the hole. And then put the little grommet in. And then, I'll secure it in place with these four screws. I'll keep all my wiring out of, out of the way. Okay, so I believe that the right way to do this is Put this down first. You get it on the little, the little, the little studs or little tips. Then put the blade in place. Then put this on the blade, catching all the little things. Then this. Okay, there it is. It's in. Now all the fans work. Now even though I measured that they're 120, I'm using the dual. Anyways, it's pretty cool. It's got two different ways to wire it. Did a video about this uh, about a year or so ago. Should be popping up right up here or somewhere in here. 
so to wire these up for 120 we got to put red and blue together on one wire and then black and yellow together on the other yellow and black red and blue before you put it back on squeeze it and it'll fit on tightly look at that one-handed what y'all think mm-hmm I had a lot of background noise because I was using a hairdryer and that really destroyed the audio that I was using here because I was talking to the camera but the camera couldn't hear me. But so periodically I'd go back and forth from the solenoids to this checking and it after a while it started getting harder and started setting. Blue red, black yellow. So here's what it ended up becoming. A little better than what it was doing earlier. I think we got a seal all the way around it. I'm gonna go one more time. It's like a gum now. Stuff, you just gotta have some patience. It does harden up. Yes, I say so. Cool. I believe it is good to run water through now. Not bad. Earlier I had a very simple way of shutting this case down and I just separated these two. So we've got power coming in here, the orange wire on black. Black goes into white here, goes through this here, down to a temperature controller that is right there. You see? It comes back in the white wire and energizes the solenoid and that's how we do that. Just be careful not to uh, shock yourself. That can happen quite easily if you touch the wire. Mm -hmm. Now this case is back. 68. Let's see how long it takes to get down. Don't take that long at all. All right. Well, here's the finished product. not sponsoring this stuff but it's actually pretty cool I kind of like it I don't know if you can use it more than once but that stuff is all right and they got them a broken thing they need to get uh, this replaced because it doesn't have the, the freaking things on them to grab you see these things right here that go into these holes you gotta have those so that the, the things stay Spend it like that, you see? They don't have those. They're gone, they're broken. 31. Okay, there's only one thing left to do. And that's uh, start this thing up. Well, let's hope this works. This is the only spare fuse I could find. No! The only one I could find in the whole store. Out of all the controllers and all the relay boards, it's the only one I could find. We're gonna take the old one out first, kind of like like that, okay? Also very carefully, I'm going to set it in there, okay, okay it's in there, and, 
Oh my god. We'll test our output. We're outputting good. Oh yeah, that's normally open. Cool, so we should be going down. Oh yes, it's going down, look at that. Okay. I'm done, son. That's beautiful, temperature's going down, hell yeah. Go walk by it and then we're good to go. So, thank you for tuning in, watching the video. It is right now 4.49 a.m. Sun will be coming up soon. We're gonna really find out a little later if they call it in because when they, they're gonna wash these uh, service cases out, they're gonna clean them before they stock them. It's about 5 a.m. so they're gonna do that soon. So we'll really see if it uh, withstands, withstands the test of the epoxy or not. I don't know, it might not. Five cases, we will see. Uh, uh, uh.